I'm Steve and welcome to Seaside Allotment Channel and today is a greenhouse day, polythenol day um, and I'm clearing out yesterday we had a bit of bad news because maybe a third, just under a third of the potatoes got blight we had loads of rain over the weekend and just a little bit must have blown in um, caught a few of the leaves and it spread but I think the other two thirds are fine we had a lovely crop which I'll put at the end of the uh, video of these uh, little new potatoes but uh, yep today the tomatoes and the cucumbers are coming out and the polytunnels are getting a right tidy up I'll just show you around so it's a right old mess at the moment but uh, this is where the potatoes were so that means my late sweet corn experiment has uh, just popped in the corner there and I started clearing these beds a couple of weeks ago and planting them up and my planting plan really for this polytunnel is basically to have a little bit of everything that we've got outside in here so some brassicas all my late tomatoes um, salad leaves uh, carrots all sorts of stuff basically and I'll show you around properly when uh, I get it all finished but yeah taking the uh, everything out I use these little spring clips to uh, hold everything up and they come off quite easily they clip off um, and so I've been pretty pleased with those it looks like uh, I'm gonna get at least another year probably a few years out of those and uh, I'm just leaving one cucumber plant um, and all of my uh, tomato plants in pots will stay so I've got loads of those and they're all doing pretty well they've all got a uh, good crop of tomatoes on them and some of them are ripe in here for example these are ripe so uh, and then I've got more tomatoes at home and here are the tomatoes that uh, we've still got to ripen off um, so I've got some uh, nice ripe bananas and we'll get that process going when we get home and there's just a few for the salad mixes and there's the not the last of the cucumbers because I say we've got we're leaving one cucumber plant in which has got quite a few cucumbers on it but uh, these are the the stragglers that were on the plants that I've pulled up anyway I'm gonna get on I'll show you later so I've made a good start on clearing this Put me uh, made a little shelf and hung it from the supports up here and it seems to be going pretty well just needs slightly adjusting but uh, this is north facing this side so uh, it's casting minimal shade and just provides me a little bit of extra space so i can use this bench this trellis table mainly as uh, a harvest table and Debbie's been harvesting while I've been playing around and so we've picked all these green tomatoes a few cucumbers a little salad mix last of the uh, red tomatoes New Zealand spinach stacks of that um, mixed brassicas uh, some of them have got beans oh these are lovely these, these little um, lots of baby new potatoes and beans and carrots more baby news baby new potatoes some shard so all sorts of stuff in there so there's beetroot and shard and courgettes and sweet potato roots and some more salads they're mine okay so not a bad little harvest and I'll come back a bit later and show you how I've tidied up and finished so off I thought you might like to just see how we uh, box everything up ready for this is patch look at all these, all these tomatoes goodness me Debbie's been researching how to ripen them off we'll see how that goes anyway today's harvest okay so it's another day and uh, all about planting today I'm going to show you what I'm planting and I'll come back a bit later and show you it all done I have kind of really been looking forward to today it's kind of nice to have the uh, polytunnel all opened up uh, for winter 
it's kind of a much nicer environment um, than uh, when it's all jungle like which is beautiful in summer because it's nice to have the shade but now it's winter it's nice to have the light so uh, this is uh, all cleared now down here and it's a reasonably good uh, planting area um, I'm going to put lots of uh, lettuces in there and varieties of stuff and then I'm going to interplant into this brassica bed um, probably mainly salad rocket but I'll probably squeeze some more things in there and yeah so this is what I've got to plant here so these are salads some sorrel uh, some Chinese cabbages a bit of uh, chard and beetroot uh, but not boltardy uh, bull's blood there and yeah some rocket there I'll be interplanting all the salads with spring onions and these are white Lisbon winter hardy ones and now I'm going to pop in a few of these little cos lettuces um, they don't really stand a frost but I am planning to uh, fleece this polytunnel when there's going to be a hard frost so we'll see how they do and you'll notice that I put my little shelf up I'm going to do another little video on the shelf but I am planning to hang the fleece from this point here so it kind of becomes like a tent um, so we'll see how that goes uh, you know just to keep the fleece off the uh, the salads in winter and you have a look here these are my second to last succession of tomatoes and again I'm probably going to fleece these if there's any danger of frost and I might have to take them home to ripen them but we'll see um, just an experiment never really having grown tomatoes before and this is the salad bed that I planted a few weeks ago and that's doing quite nicely and these are some of my very backward um, what are they Romanesco cauliflowers I think um, and I think they should be much much further on but because they were planted in that dodgy compost where nothing basically grew um, yeah this is where they are so I will pop a few of those in just to see if I can get anything off them because it would be nice to have some uh, winter cauliflowers uh, yep so that's about it I'm gonna get on see what we get okay so we will plant it up and I'm pretty pleased with it I'll give you a look so there we go that's the overview so mainly I planted this bed here and put the spring onions interplanted as I almost always do uh, while well, I'm down here these are my uh, overwintering carrot experiments so we've got three of those and those were my late runner beans but they're now my early runner beans I've left the um, roots in uh, I've put a thick mulch on and hopefully those will start early next year uh, give me a head start on the runner beans we'll see I've got my winter celery at the end there where it won't cast any shade at all and well so I've got I've got some sorrel in the corners and at the ends uh, I've got some Chinese cabbage and then in this little brassica bed I've got Chinese cabbage cauliflowers cabbage winter January King I think I've got uh, come on what's it called what's it called uh, rocket salad rocket um, kale January King more kale more kale and some uh, red king not red king uh, red drum head I think uh, red cabbage so as I said before probably earlier a lot of this is just really really late because of the compost disaster I've left in 
I was going to just empty it out but I've decided to leave this in uh, this courgette just to see if I do actually get these to grow on I might do if we get some sunny weather so uh, yeah it's worth a try and this is my very last succession of five sweet corn and they are looking excellent really big and uh, yeah well filled out so pretty pleased with that and uh, what else have I done oh yeah I've just popped some more lettuce in here concord and a few more spring onions and then I've started as I kind of pick the carrots I'll be putting um, more shard and um, beetroot bull's blood in and I've left those on the side here uh, ready and then these are down here on my overwintering uh, brassicas so these are marathon uh, calabrese marathon and cauliflowers and small cauliflowers here so obviously these will grow on and be planted in the spring I really don't know what to do with these cauliflowers they look so nice and I've got more down here I don't think they'll actually form um, Romanesco heads I think they're too late now but the leaves look nice so uh, I might end up planting them out just for the leaves anyway we'll see so let's have a quick look outside I'll show you what I've done there almost every bed is planted now but uh, some of the beds will be cleared in a couple of months time and then they'll be ready for the early planting in uh, January and February so I popped a couple of those Chinese cabbage in here along with these red cabbage and normally these would just be outside but because they're running so late they're inside just to give them a bit of a head start or under those uh, coal frames put the last of the salad rocket in here it does nice with this little bit of protection from this cover uh, just protection really from the snow and hail and things like that and I put winter miners lettuce in here and that's the same thing I noticed quite a substantial improvement from the winter miners lettuce last year that was under net uh, by comparison with the stuff that was uh, just out in the open air I've got some, oh look at those spring onions, they're coming on beautifully aren't they? Anyway, I'm not doing a tour today, I'm just showing you what I've done today. So I've planted this bed of lettuces, these are winter marvel at this end. And these are rain something or other, uh, I can't remember what they are. Um, and more winter marvel and freckles so that's pretty good and then this is my last batch of winter radish and I think that is pretty much it for the new stuff so I'll do a tour in a week or so's time and uh, show you what else is going on but for now see you soon mm -hmm.